everybody it is Malik again we're gonna do one more mission tonight it's getting late about 11 eh, it's about 1 30 or so but we are going to do mission level 8 you know what this thing should be mission 1 basic you can't get any easier than this one you guys have already done this like three times, four times already. This one's given to you. It's by far the easiest Stego mission out of every one of them. So, really not going to give you any hints on this one. Uh, do the same thing that you've done through, uh, well, I think, four other missions. How you started four other missions. Download the image uh, and you know do what you did in, in mission one and mission four and mission six. You're not going to have any issues with this. This one is actually going to be so simple, you know, it, it's going to amaze you. Uh, again, this really should have been mission number one. Uh, it was, it's far easier than mission number one was. Um, this is a give me mission. So, take a look at it. I'll give you a minute. You're not going to have a problem with this one. So, go on, take a quick look at it, and uh, come back, because I'm sure you're going to peg this password in a matter of two or three minutes. Okay. So, if you've been following the other Stego missions and completing them, this one's a give me. Again, I use Hex Edit. It doesn't matter what Hex Editor you have. But you open this thing up, you scroll through, you're going to notice off the bat there's really nothing here. I mean, just the word hello in that line. So, there's not going to be a whole lot of ASCII text. Most of the stuff is going to be blank, but as you start to scroll down through it, and again, there's a lot of white space. That's what all the F's are. Yeah, the F is all white. Um, and zeros are black, F's are white. Well, when you jump into the ASCII part, it's going to have password equals, and it's right there. And you couldn't ask for anything easier. Y R R O T seven. Y R R O T seven. So we just plug that baby back into here. Y R R O T seven. And you're through. That one couldn't have been any easier than that. Very seldom will you ever run across something that simple. Um, but, hey, um, I think I even I even played with this thing uh, a couple of times to see if I could even make it a little bit harder. Uh, like open the thing up and, and uh, paint uh, to see if I, I could discern uh, some stuff from it. Let me just do that real quick because I can't remember if I actually found anything from it. But, I mean, who really cares because you get through it once anyhow, so. Ah. Do I still have it open? Yes, I do. You can't have the hex file open while it's being opened somewhere else. And let's take a look at it one more time just to see if we can find something. There it is. Yeah. Now, there is a way. Now, I can't get into it too much in here because <clears throat> paint only goes up to 800%. Um, 
but I have known people even like if I had Photoshop if I were to open it up in Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever I could take the RGB values of the colors inside of here because again it's kind of hard to see here because uh, I can't zoom anymore if I was in Illustrator or Photoshop I could zoom in four or five thousand percent you will see that that line is not a solid red line like it looks when you're at, out at a hundred percent there's actually different colors there you can pull the RGB values which will give you the binary values which you can convert to the password which is really the same thing that the ASCII text did for us when we opened it up and hex at it but why go through all that trouble when you can just open up in a hex editor so there's multiple ways to pass these things you know yeah you may take 10 steps instead of one of course we want to get in as quick as possible but you, you may not always find the, the the quickest way in the trick is can you find a way in then we start worrying about speed um, but again always start with the hex dump most of the time that's going to give you a very good jumping off point to where you need to go next because as you've seen out of the eight we've done I think five of them have started with hex edit um, now our next one coming up is going to be an audio file <clears throat> excuse me if I remember correctly I think it's even a stereo audio file so we're not just dealing with a mono channel we're de dealing with a stereo channel so that's gonna that's gonna pose something else so uh, but we'll tackle that one as it comes along so again if you if you're enjoying the videos especially if you followed me through all the basic missions and the realistic missions and now you're following me through the Stego missions definitely let me know that, that you're following through all of them um, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel um, you, you can follow me on I, I just started the Twitter account you, know, you, can, you can follow me uh, on, on Malik CEH um, there it is there and uh the reason for starting the Twitter account is so I can, of course, post little snippets to you guys of, of new news stories that I found or, or things like that, but also so I can start doing some live feeds. And I can let you know, hey, guys, we're going to do a, a live feed, you know, this Sunday night, you know, at, at, at 9 o'clock. You know, jump in if you can. And, and we'll all hit a site together. A different site other than hackthesite.org there's tons of other sites out there we'll hit a site and we'll pick a challenge and uh, hey we'll see who can get through the challenge first uh, we'll just have some fun together uh, we'll talk about some things that you guys want to talk about it'll be a little bit more interactive all of us will be together and we'll be able to chat um, I think it'd be be a, a whole lot of fun um, I'll get my webcam I'll bust out my webcam and get that thing going so until then, my friends, um, let me know if there's any particular thing you want to see or any particular thing you want me to, to do a topic on. I am working on a string of, uh, of videos on cryptography, you know, all the way from the, the first um, Caesar up to you know, Enigma, you know, all the way up to you know, what we're dealing with today, you know, RSA and AES and stuff like that, uh, and, and understanding how they work. So, anyway, let me know what you want to see. I'll be glad to post it for you. But until then, I'm out.